Now this is the fourth and the final theorem of the chapter that is converse of Pythagoras theorem. Now converse of Pythagoras theorem says that if the sum of squares of two sides of a triangle is equal to the square of the third then the angle opposite to this side is a right angle. Okay. If the sum of squares of any two sides is the square of the third then the angle opposite to that side will be a right angle. Right. So in this triangle ABC, in this triangle ABC what is given to us is that AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. This is already given to us. And what we need to prove is that this angle is 90 degrees. Okay. So AB square plus BC square equal to AC square. Prove that angle B is 90. Right. So we have to prove that angle here is 90. So here there is a construction. What is the construction? We are drawing a triangle DEF such that DE is equal to AB, EF is equal to BC and angle E is 90 degrees. Right. So we are drawing a triangle in which DE is identical to AB, same length, EF is equal to BC and angle E is 90 degrees. So since this is 90 degrees by Pythagoras theorem we can say that DE square plus EF square is equal to DF square. Okay. We can say this DE square plus EF square is equal to DF square by Pythagoras because this is 90. Now AB square plus BC square is equal to DF square. Why can we say this? Because DE is equivalent to AB. Right. This is equivalent to this by construction. So instead of DE I can replace with AB and instead of EF I can replace it with BC because by construction EF is equal to BC so instead of EF I am replacing it with BC so what will happen now AB square plus BC square equal to DF square but it is already given to me that AB square plus BC square equal to AC square this is already given to us right this is already given that in this triangle the sum of square of two sides is the square of the third so AB square plus BC square is AC square. This is already given to us. So if I compare this equation 1 and 2, what happens? You will find that the left side of 1 and le left side of the second equation are both same. LHS of 1 and LHS of 2 are same. And therefore, the RHS of 1 and 2 will be equal. So the conclusion will be that DF square is equal to AC square. So the squares gets cancelled. If DF square equal to AC square, we can say DF equal to AC. And now it's simple. We just have to take the two triangles and prove them congruent. DA, DE is equal to AB by construction. EF equal to BC by construction again. And now what have we proved? We have proved that DF is equal to AC. So we have two by construction and one we have already proved. So we can say the triangles are congruent by SSS. If the triangles are congruent, then angle B and angle E are equal by CPCT. And angle E is already 90 by construction. And therefore, we can say angle B is also 90. So, hence proved. Right. So, this is, this is the converse of the Pythagoras theorem.